بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس وی کنٹینیو اور ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک آف امیونٹی ان دا فرسٹ لیکچر آن امیونٹی آئی ڈسکرائب یو جنرل انٹروڈکشن آف امیونٹی کلاسیفیکیشن آف امیونٹی ان دا سیکنڈ لیکچر آئی بریفلی ڈسکسڈ ود یو پیپل دی سیل میڈیٹڈ امیونٹی اینڈ ناؤ ٹو ڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس انٹی باڈی میڈیٹڈ امیونٹی اسٹوڈنٹس اینٹی باڈی میڈیٹڈ امیونٹی از آلسو کالڈ ہیومورل امیونٹی اینٹی باڈی میڈیٹڈ امیونٹی اٹ از آلسو کالڈ ہیومورل امیونٹی وائی اٹ از کالڈ ہیومورل امیونٹی اسٹوڈنٹس This is because humoral means body fluids. The main link of antibody mediated immunity is with body fluids, especially blood and lymph. Why this special link is present? This link is present because antibody mediated immunity is mediated by antibodies. and these antibodies students they are present mainly in the blood and lymph as a result antibody mediated immunity is called humoral immunity students mainly b cells are involved in antibody mediated immunity these b cells they are converted into plasma cells and plasma cells then form antibodies students b cells they are converted into plasma cells plasma cells and plasma cells produce antibodies there are two types of b cells involved in antibody mediated immunity number 1 plasma cells and number 2 memory cells some of the b cells they are converted into plasma cells which then produce antibodies and some of the b cells they are converted to memory cells and which perform the function of memory students these memory cells they remain inactive on first exposure of the antigen rather they are their production is initiated on the first exposure of the antigen and after that they become dormant now on the subsequent or second exposure of the same antigen these memory cells becomes activated they are free flowing in blood and lymph that's why we call them as memory cells because they contains the they memorize the characteristics of the antigen which first time initiated their production and when the same antigen is introduced into the body of the host the memory cells becomes activated and within minutes antibody mediated immunity comes into action student the mechanism of action of cell mediated immunity starts in the same way which we discussed in the cell mediated immunity that is through the involvement of antigen presenting cells and again the antigen presenting cells involved in antibody mediated immunity are b cells t cells and dendritic cells macrophages these are involved for antigen presentation in antibody mediated immunity also 
students later on macrophages and t lymphocytes and remember only the cd4 lymphocytes they secrete certain types of interleukins like interleukin 2 which activate the conversion of beta cells into plasma cells and so subsequent release of antibodies b cells they recognize only those antigens which are present on the surface of antigen presenting cells in combination with class 2 mhc proteins and this was the same mechanism also in cell mediated immunity which we discussed in the last lecture now students antibody mediated immunity it is mainly effective against extracellular bacteria like streptococci staphylococci and some viruses and fungi Student, this was brief about cell mediated immunity. Now we can briefly compare antibody mediated immunity with the cell mediated immunity so that the mechanism of immunity becomes very clear to all of us. We are comparing antibody mediated immunity with cell mediated immunity. Antibody mediated immunity or humoral immunity, cell mediated immunity. Students, humoral immunity is defined as the immunity mediated mainly by B lymphocytes. Mediated by B lymphocytes. On the other hand, cell mediated immunity is the immunity which is mediated by T lymphocytes. Okay? Number one. Number two. The main effectors are antibodies. Humoral immunity pays all its effects through antibodies. On the other hand, cell mediated immunity, it affects through the production of cytokines. Number third difference. Humoral immunity is effective against extracellular bacteria. and their products like staphylococci, streptococci on the other hand cell mediated immunity it is mainly effective against intracellular bacteria intracellular bacteria for example mycobacterium tuberculosis then against fungi, virus infected cells, viruses. Number four, humoral immunity is not effective against cancer cells. Humoral immunity is not effective against cancer cells. On the other hand, cell mediated immunity is very effective against cancer cells.
ओके स्टूडेंट्स नंबर फाइव ह्यूमोरल इम्यूनिटी इज रैपिड इन ऑनसेट ऑन दी अदर है सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी इज स्लो इन ऑनसेट ओके स्टूडेंट नंबर सिक्स डिफरेंस टाइप वन टू एंड थ्री हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन आर मीडिएटेड बाय ह्यूमोरल इम्यूनिटी आई रिपीट टाइप वन टाइप टू एंड टाइप थ्री हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन दे आर मीडिएटेड थ्रू ह्यूमोरल इम्यूनिटी ऑन दी अदर है टाइप फोर और डिलेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी इज मीडिएटेड थ्रू सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी ओके स्टूडेंट्स सिक्स पॉइंट्स वी हैव डिस्कस्ड विच differentiate humoral immunity from the cell mediated immunity number 7 b cells recognizes the antigen through their beta cell receptors bcr on the other hand the t cells they recognize the antigen through their tcr t cell receptors ओके स्टूडेंट्स हाउ टू असेस हिमोरल इम्यूनिटी वी कैन असेस वाइबिलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमर ह्यूमोरल इम्यूनिटी थ्रू टाइप वन टू एंड थ्री हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन ऑन दी अदर हैंड दी एफिकेसी द इफेक्टिवनेस ऑफ सेल मीडिएटेड इम्यूनिटी कैन बी असेस्ड इन द होस्ट थ्रू डिलेड हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी रिएक्शन थ्रू delayed hypersensitivity reaction if the patient timely develops delayed hypersensitivity response to the antigen it means that he or she is having effective cell mediated immunity and if the host shows delayed hypersensitivity reaction not shows delayed hypersensitivity reaction as we see in the cases of hiv and aids it means that patient's cell mediated immunity is not effective students in humoral immunity b cells t cells and macrophages are involved in cell mediated immunity t cells macrophages natural killer cells dendritic cells they are and among t cells 
only CD4 helper T cells are involved. No involvement of CD8 T cells in humoral immunity. Because CD4 helper T cells, they secrete certain interleukins which later on activates the B cells to proliferate into antibodies producing plasma cells and memory cells. On the other hand, cell mediated immunity involves both CD4 and CD8 helper and cytotoxic T cells. Students, it was all about the comparison of humoral and cell mediated immunity. Allah Hafiz and thank you very much.